All right, so we need to create our drawing on our, our board uh, that we have here. And my board looks like I want to get it mostly in here. It's pretty big on that one. And so there's a couple of different ways we can do drawings. One, we could set up a grid system, you know, draw lines across and lines up and down this way and do the same thing on our, our reference paper. On that, that, that's a good, a good system on that one. Um, another system is you can, uh, that I, I'll probably use on this one, is just kind of draw your basic shape on that or, or get an idea of, of what it is. And so I'm just going to kind of look at the, the distance from here to here. So I, I'm thinking it's going to be maybe about this tall. And so that's going to be my top one here. And I'm looking down at the bottom. And it's, so there's a little bit more space. And so I'm just kind of mapping out. So I'm, it's going to be about that tall. And that's good general uh, guidelines on it, what I'm going to be doing. As I'm looking from sides here, it looks like maybe it goes in this area here. And as I'm looking the side over here, something like that. So now I, I've kind of established where the the drawing is going to be, where the soda can itself is on those. And the nice thing about it is it's mostly rectangular, right? And so if I, if I made this into a rectangle like this on, on my can, and, and my, my, my can fits inside of this rectangle, Kind of like that. And so the same thing over here, if I've drawn on this piece over here, what I'm basically saying is this. I'm saying that I have a rectangle uh, like this. And the proportions of my rectangle coming across here, I, I've kind of delineated where those are. And so now all I really need to do is I need to draw this rectangle, make sure that this rectangle here is about the same. And so I'm looking at this distance compared to this one. I think this needs to come in maybe just a little bit more over here like that. And so this distance here compared with this distance here looks to be similar, right, on that as far as our sizing goes. Um, from here, I can come and I can make some alterations. Like this can here has a little, there's an angle right here. Let's do this instead. I'll, I'll, I'll use initially a, I want to use a, a marking pen. I guess I can use this a little bit here. And so I, I got my rectangle first. I just don't want to have a, a marker that's so strong that it bleeds through the paper on that one. So there's there's my rectangle, right, uh, that I have. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to chop off a little part right here like that. And I'm going to draw that part on my, my drawing here. So I'm just going to take and, and chop off a little thing here. So I'm trying to make th this re uh, little triangle piece that I have here look similar on those pieces. The cool thing is this, or down here, this comes down kind of straight. I'm going to keep it straight. And then I got another piece I want to lop off back here, right there, right? And so that's, uh, I'm, I'm building up the shape here, and I'm looking at this distance versus this distance, and it's about halfway, right? The distance from here and here. So if I divided this total distance in half, let's say right here, then I can take and I can draw this line down like this. And I'm just trying to draw these lines parallel like that. And so I've drawn this line. And so I'm trying to make this red triangle here look like this one over here. Did I get it about right? Take this angle, bring it over here. That looks to be pretty good. Okay, let's do another one here to localize this one. Let's do a, a triangle, cut off a triangle right here, like that, that little piece. And so now I'm going to come over here and I got to judge this distance. Maybe this one here, this from here to here is about the same, maybe a little smaller. This piece here doesn't look quite as high. So I'm going to say this distance from here to here and this one are about the same in this area. And then I got to draw 
these lines parallel. And it would make sense that this one would be a little shorter. If I, if I go straight across here, it's just a little bit shorter. Not much. I'm thinking it needs to go up a little higher, actually. Kind of like that. Or this one needs to come down just a little bit. The other thing is, too, is we do have some rounded edges. We'll address those in just a second. And so that's my initial shape here. Now this goes straight up. Now the can itself it kind of goes in and out a little bit, but it goes straight up uh, on here on our rectangle. And so the next piece I want to cut off uh, for the sake of my drawing is I'm going to take this piece right here, right like that. Now you notice I'm cutting across the rounded part of the um, uh, the rounded part of the the lid or the top of it. That's okay. I'm just trying to use this part here, and it is going to stick out actually even a little bit farther. Um, we're trying to get basic shapes on that one. So now I'm going to look for this corner, and I'm going to try and make this line and this line somewhat parallel. Let's say that it's something like that. Okay. So now I've, I've, I've boxed in that a little bit. It's a little bit more detailed. Before we had just the rectangle. Now we have it, it kind of into uh, an eight-sided figure on those, uh, on what we're doing. Uh, granted, we're not perfect yet on our stuff, but uh, maybe maybe that will be helpful on those. Okay, so let's make some, some, some more alterations on that. Okay, Alteration number one. Remember we talked about down here where it was a little bit of a rounded thing? And I'm, I'm thinking... I'm looking at this spot right here where it touches, touches the bottom, and it's about right here on those ones. And this one rounds down a little bit, and then this one rounds up. Uh, this I want back just a little bit more. I feel that's getting a little crowded there. Okay, so I'm just going to take this piece here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to round it off right here. Just a little arc like that. That's the bottom of the can on that side. It's a little bit of a rounded piece. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to take and round that little bit off like that. And then this is the, that part coming up. Okay. Now, now let's go over here. And this one is, is almost a straight line too, but it's a little bit of a rounded section like that. Right. And so let's come back there and take my drawing and I want this little part right here just kind of rounded a little bit as it comes up here like that. And so now I've established more the detail of the bottom section of this can just by rounding it off and that's much much easier than just trying to draw the whole thing from from scratch uh, on those. Um, let's go back over here to this side of our, our, our can. Now I'm going to exaggerate just a little bit for the sake of this one. This one, there's two lines. One comes in, I have it kind of coming in a little bit, and then this one kind of going out a little bit. Uh, and then there's one that comes off uh, at an angle there. That's okay though. So I, first thing I want to do is get my indentation here, this indentation. And it looks to me like the dent, the indentation, is, is about half the distance here. There's a little bit more of a piece there. So I'm going to drop down a little bit. I'm going to say right there. Okay. And then I'm going all the way down here. Halfway is about right here. So this piece is going to go in just a little bit at the halfway point. Like that. And then it's going to go out a little bit. Like that. So there's my indentation. Like I said, I made it a little more dramatic than maybe what's here. But maybe not. Maybe not. That looks pretty good. And then also, after I've done that, I did have that little part right there, huh? That this part went up right here. That it was not exactly right. So now in just looking at this side as I have it over here, we, we blocked that in fairly well on the outside portions of it. Now let's go ahead. We'll can kind of continue around. We're going to get to the, to the roundy part up here in just a second on that. But first... Let's make uh, this little part here. There is a little bit of a, a part that comes down here. This drops down. That's where the roundy part is. And this kind of goes over. Like that. Just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. 
Now I'm going to do I'm going to do from here to here. Okay. Uh, so what, what what I've done is we've done this. We've done that, right? Now I'm going to. This is not a straight line. This is a little bit of a curved line like that. Okay. So that's what I'm looking at. But I'm going to use my straight line as a guide. Now it needs to go a little bit further, doesn't it, to, to be the end of the curve. And so that end curve is going to be out here somewhere as I'm looking at this distance. And it's going to start here. It's going to go up past a little bit into this area, so right there. So i got to hit that part. And then it's going to curve down to here and maybe be a little sharper on that part. So let's do it. Okay, so this curves up like that and then I'm getting my arm down here. This is mostly kind of a, a, a gradual curved line that is coming down here like that. And then this curve, I'm going to come back here like that. What I'm doing, I'm just trying to draw this little part here uh, so we can see it with this triangle like that. Okay, now this one needs some direction too. Let's get the bottom part of that curve in there. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna I'm gonna draw it in, and then we're gonna get some guides to kind of help us. This one is much more curved than the other one is, huh? It looks like the bottom point is right here. Okay, so let's let's establish our bottom point right there. So I'm looking at that here. This is the middle. This is over, so maybe in here somewhere. How high is it? Look, uh, uh, let's compare it with this little indentation part here. Ugh, my paper's stuck. Okay. So we have this part that comes down where it crosses this area here. It's a little bit taller than that. If I was to draw a line just over from here. It's about the same height, isn't it? on that. It's about the same height. Okay. So that's good to know. So I'm going to come over here like this and this is going to be about the same height. So this is my, my midway point, right? And so this line is going to come and it's going to curve down and go to this point like this on a curve. Now the top of this can is has been warped a little bit so it's not a regular sort of a curve on that one. And so that's that piece. Now let's do this one over here. This one has to have a curve as well as it comes down to this point. So that's where my destination is. Kind of like that. Well, that's cool. Now this one also has a little bit of a, of a base that comes down. And now let's draw a long a parallel line just around here. So this is the, the top rim of the can comes around like this. And so now that has the rim of the can. It's starting to have a little bit of structure, huh? That's what we want. Okay, so let's do this. I want to get this line over here correct. And so this sticks out just a little bit farther than our rectangle, right? And so we, we, we like the, the direction it's going on. Let's double check to make sure it looks like it's a little bit, a little bit flatter than what I want. I think it comes out here, but it sticks out a little bit. So I'm going to take that out, let's say right to there. Okay, that so that just sticks out a little bit on what we're trying to do. Past, past this area. I think that's good. Now let's draw the indentation on this side, just like the other side had an indentation. This one has an indentation. Let's just I'm going to draw it right here so I can see what I'm doing. And it doesn't, so that's what, these two lines right here are what we're trying to do. All right, so how far down is that dent? Okay, I'm going to match it up with this one on this side a little bit. It's lower than the one on this side. Okay, so there's the one on this side is right here, right? We'll just kind of map that out like that is right there. And the other one's lower than that one, so let's say that it's about right here as we move on over. 
Okay, and so we're going to make it at this height somewhere. And so this is going to be our beginning point. Down here somewhere is the ending point. I just need to make sure that these lines right here are somewhat parallel. So this line and this line are going in the same direction. So let's do it. This is coming down and I'm going to look here and look here and I'm just going to draw that straight down over there. That was extra. And then this one does not go all the way out here. It's in a little bit, so I'm going to say it goes to right here. So now I just need a straight line from here to here. Now I think that these, these cans, in, in drawing them, because they're not a, a specific shape, you know, that, that, that it's not, I'm not trying to make a sphere, I'm not trying to make a, a cylinder, I'm not trying to, this is a crushed random uh, shape on those, because it's, it sits that way, it sometimes makes it a little bit easier to draw uh, on those. Okay, so some of this stuff I don't necessarily need anymore. I don't really need that. And I don't know it really need that part either. So I can use my eraser. So I got kind of kind of the basic shape of the can, right? As I'm as I'm looking at that. Now we need to put in some more of the the folds maybe. And we can look into what I want to draw is some of these shapes that make up the, um, the overall structure, but also the shapes of the values that we have here. So when I'm looking at it here, because if you look at the shapes, it's almost like there's a little bit of a curve that's coming right across here, a little bit of a loop, but there's a general curve that's coming down here, starting from this point here. And it parallels this one here. So there's kind of a curved shape. I'm just comparing here, right? That's coming back and across. And it's, it's following this thing. It follows up. Gets a little wider here. Once we get to the end, it has a little bit of a an offshoot like that. A little bit of a, a whoop. And then so that is that piece right here. That line here give us some sort of a structure. And then what happened, what it looks like is we had the initial shape of the, the, the can and then it squished in a little bit, you know, on those. And so let's draw some more of those squishy, squishy lines that we have here. There's a dent here and so our Coca-Cola is not quite straight and so we know that there's a dent right there. How does it kind of go across this area? can't really see too much on there. I know that it's indented a little bit there, so I'm just going to put a line like that for right now. And then over here we see that there's this line coming down here into the, where the C is on that. And then there's a little bit of a value shape. This value shape right here. And there's a dark side to this as well. So I'm going to do the value shape first. And so that's that little value shape. Now we can shade these in if we want. If it's helpful, you can do a complete value drawing of the can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And so then that's this little value shape. By shape, this is a dark value. This is a dark medium value. This is a dark value over here. Let's go ahead and put that shape in here. It goes about halfway. And then it comes down like this. So that's a value shape. And then over here, the next part, it kind of comes down like this. Goes in a little bit. And then comes out here. That's a value shape. That's this guy right here. And then there's a, a lighter shape in right about here. Just kind of a weird little organic y sort of a thing. That's white, right? There's this little white area right here. And that's a value shape, the value of white. Now, around this here, around the outside of it, there's a little bit of another shape. This is red, you can see on this part. Then there's this value is also over on this side a little bit and it comes down about here like this. 
And then there's the last part. The last last part is the value shape here. So it goes dark, dark medium, medium, uh, light uh, medium on that one, and then white. And so those are the basic shapes of your values as they change across that area. Same thing over here on what I have. I haven't drawn any of the lettering in yet, but we have this dark value here, right? A dark value here, and then we have a medium value there, and then we have kind of a, a crazy little organic medium shape that's coming up dark medium into there. And so that's that piece, right? Over here we have a little bit of a division as well. There's a little bit of a of a shape. Now these don't have to be uh, precise uh, on those, but there's that, and then there's a little bit of a similar value shape right here. And these are just going to be helpful for when I start to try and add in my values. Uh, from here, there's um, a value shape that comes up like this, a little triangular piece there. And then there's kind of a little, it looks kind of rounded as it comes out like this. And there, so this lighter value, then this reddish value is a good one to go on. So up from here, that's how they come in about right there. Now there's this big shape here I want to draw that's coming across. So it comes from this seam and it comes across the, the, the Coca-Cola thing and it comes down like this. And then it has a, a whoop de whoop coming down here. I'm drawing this dark value here. And then that's just almost right from here. That is just kind of coming across there. Now if you don't have these exactly right, I don't have them exactly right either, so so that's good. We're both on the same boat. Okay, let's draw this gray thing right here. This comes in a little bit like that, and then it comes out. Then this piece here is going to have is going to come down like this, and then come into here. Because that's a bigger value shape that we have there too. And then this one here, I'm going to erase that out a little bit so we can see that it's the same. Okay, so I've broken up the spaces in here. I haven't drawn the, the Coca-Cola letters in. I haven't done the little original taste thing over here. But I have established here's gray, here's gray, there's gray here, there's gray here. There's a light reddish color here. There's a light reddish color here. There's a... A, a dark medium color here. It's huge on that one over this area. And then there's a dark shape in through here on that. There is this little piece that comes right like this, right? So over here, this kind of comes down this way and then back up kind of like that. That's this little piece here. And so now I'm getting in those, those values that I'm looking for uh, when I'm going to be adding my painting in. Alright, do we want to tackle the Coca-Cola part of it? The Coca? Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. And this one I'm just going to kind of look at it and I'm going to try and draw this part here. And then it comes down here like this and it goes into that. This part dips down into this area a little bit, about halfway. And so that's coming there. It's going to come up and through. And maybe to right here. Like that. And then this part here, this little arc right there. And then now I'm going to draw the top piece. Like that. And then this has that little squiggly on the top and then it comes out kind of straight and then has some width here uh, this one I didn't have it quite exact so this part is coming out a little bit more here I will say these uh, gessoed boards 
Oh, they're hard to draw on. Okay, so I got the C. Okay, then the O. There's the outside of the O. About like that. Now these ones, I, I'm not plotting it out. Uh, I'm just drawing it uh, on that one, uh, on trying to make them look similar. Um, you can plot them as, as well. And then this piece is coming up here. It can't go too far past this one here. I'm looking it comes about to here, so maybe into there with the C. be a lot shorter. And so let's draw the outside of the C here. Doesn't come quite down that far. That allows us to draw this part to come up here. And then the A portion kind of coming down at an angle. I have till here uh, to get it going there. So I'm trying to make these distances about the same. Okay, so I got Mr. Coca in there. That's a, a triumph. Now this other one, the block letting for the original is kind of a kind of a deal. I'm gonna hold off on that. Should we draw inside aside here some a little bit? Um, maybe the the rounded part here. This is the inside portion. I'm gonna draw just a, a guideline here so we can kind of see. We know where the inside is, like that, right? And then we can, um, from there, let's just draw this. This is just a straight line coming down here, about midway through there. This is the tab. We get most of a side view of the tab, so you see the thickness of that, that tab right there, and that's mostly a white. Back over here, we see that there's the dark part of that. Maybe it'd be better if I just shade that in a little bit, so I can see that. There's the little place where it attaches right there, huh? And maybe this is the other side over here. There's a little dark spot right there. And then off of that, we have the rounded portion where we take our drink from.
here's the value shape. This is where it sh changes values along that line too. And then back here we have some value shape changes right here, right? Major one right here that kind of corresponds with that. Just need to get some of my, my dust off there. Now if you're worried about getting crud on your hands uh, on that sort of thing, you can, um, you can just uh, put down a cover sheet, something like this when you're doing your drawings, and then that will work out for you. Okay, we're getting close. I think I need to make our original part here. So the original part, origin right here, kind of starts right on this little piece here. And so I'm going to make a O. Make an O. Let's make that just a little bigger, shall we? So I have an O. Then we have, and it's going to follow this line, right? This is the top. This is the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, panoramic picture for seniors. If you're a senior, they're doing the panoramic picture. Uh, uh, right now, if you need to go for that, you're welcome to, to go. I got an R. Let's put an I. Well, that was the easiest one was the I. Now we need a G. G's are kind of like yes. kind of like O's in some aspects. Oh, yes. out over here we start up about here we kind of see the T remember I'm following this line here and this is just real narrow and then there's a narrow A see the S. It's kind of lost in there. Oh yes. So there we have our, our original taste thing. We have our coca. And there are some little white lines in in here that we designate as the cola side of things. But there we have the basic basic drawing of our crushed can in an outline format. Like I said we could go back and we could shade it. Um, if we need to, um, but we, we don't have to for this drawing. You can just do an outline drawing of your thing. I may post um, within that giving you points for your outline drawing um, as, we, as we proceed through that. So um, I'm, I'm still not sure on that one, but that's, that's kind of cool. That's the deal.